web to television, from movies to computer games, there's one name that creates a huge following, Star Trek. Well, now there's something new on the horizon for Trekkies, a new game that's taken six years to make. Tonight, a rare behind-the-scenes look at Starfleet Academy. Stardate, end of planet Earth's millennium. And here at Raleigh Studios in Hollywood, California, a group of Starfleet Academy cadets are about to enter a virtual training camp. While this may appear to be some kind of strange green alien universe, it's actually the special set for Interplay Productions' new software game, Starfleet Academy. The game will be a cross between high adventure and flight simulation. More than 40 actors are on hand to shoot the live action footage for the game. The ensemble is headed by the original Star Trek cast members, William Shatner, George Takei, and Walter Koenig. And that's the bridge. This is the future. <laughs> Their appearance in the Starfleet Academy software marks the first time the original cast members have appeared together in a game. And it's also the first time game players will have the chance to be trained as potential Starfleet officers. Interplay's founder, Brian Fargo, says he thinks this unique combination will appeal to Star Trek fans everywhere. I'm a big Star Trek fan. This is the closest you're probably ever going to get to another series or a show. Uh, here, I mean, this is probably maybe the last time you're ever going to see these guys on camera again. So that in itself is pretty exciting. And then it's, it's, uh, to me, it's the first chance that I can really get into the role of, the, of, of being a cadet in the Star Trek universe and sort of moving my way up through the Starfleet Academy system and a chance to be praised and berated by Captain Kirk himself. I think that makes, I think that makes it really fun. Mr. Brady. The green set is devoid of most props found on the bridge of a starship for good reason. The bridge, created by Interplay's game designers, exists in a virtual world of its own, inside this monitor. By shooting the actors against the green background, their images can then be cut out and inserted into any environment. In this case, the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. Director Martin Denning says he thinks these computer-generated special effects will appear realistic to game players. Uh, hey, hey, computer. What we've done here is to recreate the bridge of the Starship Enterprise in, if you will, a virtual world. The chairs we are using are real chairs, and there are other parts of the bridge which are real. The remainder is generated entirely on computer. We are sitting, in effect, in a virtual room. What we've created is, if you will, a cube within which we can move the camera we know where it is at any one particular time, and we're able to align our real props, if you will, to our virtual room, thus achieving an, an illusion, which is very believable, of actors actually moving around the real bridge of the Enterprise. To accomplish this, Denning uses a special digital camera connected to an array of monitors. Here, the images will be composited into the final game visuals. Completing just a few minutes of final product can take the Interplay staff hundreds of hours. Engineering is right over there. This technique of shooting is, generally speaking, not new, both for feature films, for television, or for, indeed for CD-ROM. However, on this particular shoot, we are for the very first time using a technique which enables us to move the camera freely. Now, previously, with CD-ROM programs, and indeed with almost every other type of blue or green screen shooting, the camera has to remain static. We've developed techniques which allow us now to move the camera freely. And this, at last, gives us that feature film effect which has been lacking from projects of this nature before. <laughs> 